Hey everyone, today we're going to talk about the hidden picture layout tool in PowerPoint. And full disclaimer, it's not really a hidden feature in PowerPoint. It's there. It's just something that I find that people don't really know about this feature. And so I wanted to bring some light to it and unbury it from the options in PowerPoint. So we're going to start with a blank PowerPoint slide and I'm going to add some assets to the slide. We're going to put in some stock photography. And I'm going to narrow this down to camping pictures and we'll just select some pictures that we have available here. You can see that the pictures are various dimensions and sizes. They're all high resolution because I'm using the Microsoft stock photography from the premium content, but they're all different sizes. And so right now they're all selected. If they're not selected, press control A to select them all. And in the pictures format ribbon, we're going to look for this picture layout button. This is a drop down that will convert our pictures into smart art. And you can see there are various layouts and options. And a lot of these are really fun. So I'm just going to choose one. I think these hexagons are good. Now this acts just like SmartArt. I can move the images within the SmartArt. I can type in text if I want. It adds these little embellishments as well. But what some people don't know is that even though this is smart art, you can convert it back into images and it's going to retain the shapes. So essentially it puts these images within a shape, within a hexagon. You can ungroup it by pressing control shift G or right click and ungroup. And now all of these elements are individual shapes. I can go in and clean this up now. And I'm left with various shapes from the pictures. I can sort and I can distribute them. And interestingly, if I focus on one of these and double click on it, I can go to format shape and crop and I can change the shape that the image is cropped into if I wanted to. So when I click on crop, I can still modify the picture within the shape. I can make it larger and move around. I can also modify the border if I want to add more weight or change the color. Now I'm going to go ahead and undo everything and revisit the picture layout options just so I can try a different shape. I'll convert the smart art to shapes, control shift G to delete the elements, and then I can pull apart the shapes. It's a good way to have all of the shapes unified in the same size and the same shape all at once. And I can sort these by selecting all. If I go up to shape format, then I can align. I'll align these all to the top and then I will spread them out horizontally. And just reiterating, if I select one of these and go up to picture format and crop, then I can make sure that I have the precise element of the picture within the shape, including changing the size, maybe dialing it in a little bit. And then an interesting thing is if I highlight all of the shapes at the same time, I can go up to shape format and I can make some formatting modifications to all of them, such as change the border color and the width and any picture effects that I want. So it's a fairly interesting way to add effects onto the slide.